Hello and welcome to Write Volumes Hispanic Heritage More. Write Volumes goal is to give diverse voices an outlet for expression, which we have been doing through our anthology series. I'm Jenea, editor of Write Volumes, and in order to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month, we decided to give people a Hispanic heritage present. Here's a quick peek at, a, at the impact of Hispanic writers in the past, present, and future in three questions. To help with this, I'm here with Jocelyn Dominguez, also known as Jojo, um, a regular contributor to Write Volumes Anthologies and our wonderful graphic designer who creates everything from our book covers to our social media billboards. Welcome, Jojo. Thanks for having me, Jen. So glad I could speak to you again. Well, thanks for being here. So I have three questions for you. Did any Hispanic writers influence you in your writing? So for me, um, I, I grew up with a lot of, uh, I feel like being inspired by television, especially, which I think a lot of people our age did. And specifically, um, especially like in the 90s and in the early 2000s, there wasn't very much in the way of diversity, but I did always strike a chord with those like shows and those like, especially like children's programming that where I can see people who represented by me like Hispanics and um, the writing of Jorge uh, Gutierrez Jorge R. Gutierrez he does a lot of uh, he's done movies such as the Book of Life series he's got a new show coming out now he does a lot of writings for children's television like he did the show Maya and Miguel from back in like the early 2000s and stuff like that and he's just and he's also just an amazing artist in general I follow him on Instagram he's he's a very kind person and um, I've attended several of his talks that he's done for um, just like inspiring others and also just talking about his work. And he's very inspired by Mexican culture and specifically he does a lot of uh, Dia de los Muertos school themed inspired like with uh, uh, Latin Native American influences as mm -hmm. well which I really appreciate because he's a, he's a person who's really in tune with like his culture and expressing it fully. And it's a huge part of like his identity as an artist and the way that he expresses himself, um, not only through his writing, but also just through his artwork that he does in, in the animations that he does. And he does also paintings and drawings and stuff like that. And so I'm inspired a lot by what he does um, in the way that he just like so jubilantly is who he is and proudly um, expresses his Mexican culture. Um, I aim to like do that a little bit more in my work. I feel like it's, I could always do that a little bit more. I don't know, <laughs> but I just really, I'm really inspired. I really like his aesthetic and I really appreciate just how much how much of a great person and what a great representation he is, so. Nice. The second question is, what does it mean to be a Hispanic writer? I think it's interesting being a Hispanic writer specifically in how it pertains to me being in America with uh, America's relationship with our Latin American neighbors. Um, I am technically American. I was born here in the United States, but I'm a first generation um, immigrant from Mexico. So I am Mexican by heritage, um, American by nationality, I guess you can say. And in spirit, I am a blend of both. So when it comes to how that fits into like my, my way of expressing who I am, it's the, the biggest thing that I can contribute and what it means to me to be a writer representing who I am is just expressing that blend and expressing the life that I have lived and being able to show that and tell that story that has been told in many different ways by many different people, but that needs to continuously be told. I think, um, I think because I think it's a beautiful story, you know, to show the blending of cultures and understandings and developing the perspectives and Kind of like living in two different worlds and in and especially for me as a person who is bilingual living in two different worlds also in your mind with all the code switching back and forth and everything like that and so 
being a Hispanic writer is important because I get the opportunity to tell that story and to express it and to be a part of the record of in like of what the story is in, in history. Which brings us into the last question, which is how would you like your writing to influence future generations? Oh, that one's always a big one. Uh, out of all the questions that I think I was looking that I was looking over whenever you sent these to me, that one was the one that I had to think about the most. Um, just like how I mean, I think we think a lot about our legacy and how we want the future to be like how we want the future to unfold as a result of our actions and who we are as people and even just specifically our generation like your next of kin and everything like that. It's just I only hope that anything that I write or anything that I make expresses a kind of, I don't know, just kind of gives hope. You know, I feel like, especially the time that I'm living in, being a first generation, I have this story to tell that years from now, no one else will be able to tell. No one else, they get very few, I feel like less and less people will be able to say that they are a first generation. Um, Hispanic descent in America living at this time period, which is a very impactful time period right now, not only because of the pandemic, but also because of all of the historical events that have happened right now and all the historical things that I will have a chance to witness. I only hope that what I express shows a kind of hope, a sense that, you know, I made it. I don't know. I lived. I still have my story. I was able to find some kind of success and some kind of happiness in some in 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 a way and and I was able to amplify my voice so much more than other people may not may not have had the chance to. I have the opportunity to amplify my voice and so try to speak for myself first of all, but also by extension my generation and my story. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, your writing is very thought provoking and sensual. Your words really paint a picture of like the emotions so that the reader can feel it along with your characters. Um, I'm so excited to read your writing and I can't wait to see what you create next. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited too. I have this really fun idea um, for something that I have written previously. Um, a concept that I had before and for timeless romance I'm thinking about switching it up a little bit and giving it a little a little bit more of a silly touch to it so I'm kind of excited to see what what comes out of it too and thank you so much Jen for saying that about my writing <laughs> of course well thank you for sharing Jojo this has been a right volume to Hispanic heritage history more and we hope you enjoy this present and share it with others you can check out JoJo's writing in the Right Volume Anthologies on sale on Amazon and her website, www.jocelyndomingas.com. And feel free to follow Right Volumes on Amazon, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, or check out our website at rotvolumes.com. Thank you. Bye.